Good afternoon, y'all. This is Saturday. I'm not sure of the date. I think it's the 19th of August, something like that. I'm in my sewing room. I really didn't want to do this video in here today because it's pretty messy in here. I've worked in here quite a bit this week, and I, when I work, I make a mess. But I have so much stuff to show y'all that I couldn't get it all piled up around me in my stitchy chair. So I moved in here. So that's, it's just, it is what it is. I've had a full day already. My husband and I got up early and drove to Little Rock, which is about an hour away, and went to a funeral. Uh, a friend whose mother passed away, she was 92. She and her husband had celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary. So, wow, uh, what an enduring love story that was. Uh, it was uh, just a very uh, uh, touching, touching story. And then we came home and ate lunch real quick, and I, y'all, I'm so graceful. I, I Really, who could do this? I decided I would have a bowl of chili for lunch. It's summertime. It's hot. My husband refuses to eat chili in the summertime, but that's okay. I have some canned, some home canned uh, that I fixed, uh, that I canned last summer. And so I just got out a jar of that, and I had some chili for lunch. And I like it with um, a little bit of sour cream spooned on top of it. As I was putting everything away, the sour cream... There was still sour cream left on the spoon, so I tapped it on the side of the carton. You know how you do to get it to come off. That sour cream splattered me, my face. I was trying really hard to keep my makeup intact before I did this video, but I had sour cream in my eyebrows, in my eyelashes, and down the side of my face. Gross. That would be me. Well, um, I have lots to show y'all. Let me tell you first that last video I was giving away a pattern, and that pattern was given to Kathleen of Kathleen's Trodden Trail. It, uh, it was Nantucket Rose, and the stitch along started for that on August the 1st. I don't think she got it. She might have gotten it on the 1st. So I don't know if she's participating in the stitch along, but I know she was kitting it up and getting ready to stitch it. Dina of Half Stitch, Half Stitch Cross Stitch is leading that stitch along if you want to see the progress that they're making. It's a beautiful pattern. It just wasn't one that I decided I wanted to stitch. And there are many others in my collection that I probably won't be stitching either, but I'm going to talk about my pattern collection later. Um... I'm going to uh, have a little confession. I, I messaged Taryn Burley this morning when she did her glove box confection, confessions today, which were hysterical, by the way, uh, that I would have one to make today, too. So I'll do that in reply. Um, fully finished objects. Let's talk about those. I showed you before uh, this little Merry Christmas this is the one that came out of um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And it had the rabbit, remember? And I got so lost in that rabbit that I just gave up on him and cut it off and, and uh, decided I would keep the little Merry Christmas. And since it looks a little bit primitive like this, I put just a little piece of twine to hang this with uh, to make a Christmas tree ornament. I like it, actually. I might do that again. I might stitch that again because I liked that font. I also stitched out of a primitive, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. This one is Michelle Rudy's fault, Farm Girl. This, uh, she stitched and made into a pillow, and hers has woolens, the word woolens across the bottom. Well, first of all, I didn't think I wanted the word woolens, but after I got finished with the sheep, I decided I did want it, except when I started stitching it, I didn't want it, so I didn't keep enough fabric at the bottom to do it. Oh, well. So I just made it into, um, actually, I made this sort of dual. Um, I put a, the buttons on and added a little 
brown grosgrain ribbon to hang it with, and I'm going to hang it over a doorknob in my living area. But I also, on the back, I did, I don't know, this is really dark, so I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's a tuck, an envelope style pillow. So if later on I decide I would rather have a pillow, I can stuff that and just whip stitch that back closed. But for now, I like it like this, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to hang it. I had a new start since the last video and a new finish, and it is this pattern from Brenda Jerry Bay that's called Forget Me Not. It's a very simple, quick stitch, fun to do. To finish it, I found at a thrift shop this little jewelry box. Just an old jewelry box, you can see. And I put that on the top. Put it on a um, piece of mat board and stitched this um, cording around it and used a few little tiny pins as well. The top, I tied it. The, the ends of that I tied in a knot and rattled. And so it just opens up. And that's probably going to be a Christmas present for one of my girls. I'm very pleased with it. Next time, if I do this again, I did use a fusible interfacing on that. But I think next time that I might use fusible fleece and puff that just a little bit more. Just a little bit. And then I had decided somewhere in the middle of this month that I was going to stop and do a few Christmas things, which I did. And I've got uh, two whips that I'll show you in a minute. But this one I started and finished. It's not fully finished yet. This is a Lizzie Kate Oh Christmas Tree. Is that not the, it's just the cutest pattern. And there's how it turned out. Now I have no idea how I'm going to finish that. I'm thinking that I might do a flat fold. Uh, I, I watched Vanna's, uh, the Twisted Stitchers tutorial, but I need to watch it again. But I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. I also have been making, you know, last time I told y'all I had those three zipper bags and I thought I might sell them. Well, y'all, People are so kind. I sold those three and seven more because people kept emailing me, and um, so I just made more. And I've made some more since then uh, because um, I've got more whips than I had before, and, and I've done some kitting up. Uh, they're not actually whips. They're just kitted up things. So I was making more, and so I've made this one, which is kind of long, and it's plain. It's just a zipper at the top um, for a long, longer Q-snap. This will hold an 11-inch, um, an 8 by 11. I, I don't know if I showed you this one before. This one is not a zipper bag. This is using Vonna's um, pattern, her tutorial, except I didn't round the corners like she does. This one is a zipper bag that uh, is birdhouses and birds. And I love that. I love that fabric. And I put a little bird on the zipper for it. And I may sell some of these, so if anybody's interested, let me know. This one is um, all about rabbits, bunnies, and it says hop, hop, uh, just hatched, peep, peep. It's, it's really spring babies, I guess. I love carrots, um, things like that. And I put a little bunny on the zipper pull. This one's pretty large, those, that one and the bird one. And I'm, the one I made that McKenna bought is similar to this one right here. Maybe the same fabric. I can't remember. Is it McKenna? And I added a little bit of lace to that one. I had this little piece of wool applique right here that I had done years ago and hadn't done anything with. 
So I just put that on the front, and I boxed the bottom of this one. It's not as big as those others, but it will fit one of my smaller pieces. And then I had this little piece that I had made just experimenting one day. So I added that to the zipper pull on a little bit bigger one. Okay, that's all the bags I made. I actually have about four more cut out. Uh, I like making them. They're a lot of fun. And honest to goodness, yes, I made all those, and I ordered one yesterday from Mama Joan. I couldn't stand it. I, I loved her bee fabric, and I loved the vinyl on the front, and I wanted to see how she made it. And so that's coming to me uh, soon. I can't wait to get that one. Okay, thrift shop. Y'all are not going to believe what I have gotten. I'm so, so excited. You know I'm trying to put Americana kind of things in my dining area. And on Stash Unload, Cross Stitch Only, that one. I saw this one day that a lady was selling. Sure, we don't have glare on this one because I want you to see it really good. Let me turn the light off. There, that's better. America, God shed his grace on thee. She was retiring, she said, and she had this in her office and had no place for it in her house. And in fact, she sold, I saw three or four different things, but I only bought this one. I had already bought this pattern, planning to stitch it. And then there it appeared. And I'm almost embarrassed to tell you the price on this. Let me just say that the shipping for it was way more than what I paid for the picture. Way more. Isn't that gorgeous? Her stitching is beautiful. The fabric is perfect. I, I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to hang it. As soon as I get through this video, it's going. And I found this little leaflet, Cross Stitch for Beginners. And I bought it because I loved that little American flag and for that Noel. That'll be fun to stitch. Then I went to Fort Smith where my son lives. And went to a little flea market up there last weekend and found these are just this these this was a great great buy Lori mischievous stitches you better watch out honey look what I've got three shepherd's bush sampler kits this one these are going to be hard to see and I apologize for that but this one is called blackberry sampler it, look at the cow. Sheep. Sheep. I've got my contacts in y'all. Don't see real good with those. But anyway, isn't that the sweetest thing? I did not pay very much for those. And I may put those on stash and load because I really don't think I'm going to stitch them. I just couldn't leave them there. Does that make sense? Okay, this one is called an American Sampler. These are all old kits, y'all. But the kits, I mean, the fabric is here. Beads are here. Floss is here. And if nothing else, I could, for what I paid for it, I could just keep the fabric. And this one is called Millennium Sampler. It was for the Y2K stuff that year. Um, and you would probably want to leave the words off of it now, but, but it would make a beautiful band sampler. And it also, all three of these had the fabric and the floss. And it is not Ada, it is linen. I couldn't, I can't say what linen it is, I don't know, but it is linen. So, th that was fun. Now, y'all, I have been so abundantly blessed this month. I have received several gifts. Several. Um. And I am trying very hard to pay these all forward and send something on to someone else. But I would like to share with you some of the things that I've gotten so that you can see how sweet and kind people in this community really are. 
um, let's see, from my friend Judy in Tulsa, you know who you are, Judy does not have a floss tube channel. She sent me chamomile tea, which is perfect because I haven't been getting to sleep real good. She sent me a lighted needle threader. Okay, I just said I can't see out of my contacts. You know I needed that. I can't wait to try it. I've waited because I didn't I didn't want to lose sight of it, uh, get it out of pocket before I did my video. She sent Jen Hap this little needle minder. Look at this rose. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like one of those little sugar melons. You know, like you see at weddings sometimes. Mm, love it. She sent me this magazine, Ultimate Cross Stitch Garden. Flowers and birds. I just, y'all, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous magazine. So I was really tickled to get that. And then I guess she heard me say that I would love to have Blackbird Designs Loose Feathers series, which is, there are three of those patterns. One is autumn, one is winter. And one is summer. And yes, she sent me all three. I don't know where the fourth season went, but Blackbird Designs only did three. Y'all, not only did she send me those, she also sent me all of the floss. Look at that. All of the floss for that. And in those patterns, I didn't know because I haven't looked at these. I haven't seen them anywhere to get my hands on them to look at them. There are other patterns, and they're all gorgeous, every single one of them. Judy, that is beyond generous. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then, y'all are all going to be jealous of this, too. Look what McKenna sent me. Ha! <laughs> one of her Halloween bags, and I've got just the, the thing to put in it. I'll show you when I show you my whips. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. If you remember in my last video, and I know you probably don't, but I showed a little bread cloth that my daughters, one that my, one of my daughters had made for me for Christmas back in, geez, I don't know. They had little babies, so it would have been at least 25 years ago, something like that. And they told me they were going to make one for every month, except they had too many babies and they didn't get that done. And so, Suzanne, and she is Seuss House 39, y'all have seen her, sent me the leaflet that those, that those came from. The one that I showed was this one this little Uncle Sam. And I do have, the girls did make me, so I, I have to confess, I have to tell you, they made me this birthday one. And that Easter one. And this St. Patrick's Day one. And a couple of others, but they aren't on this particular one. But she also sent me, <laughs> with that, this little pattern called Hurry Turtle because she said it made her think about my great-grandson. Y'all know I'm babysitting. He's four months old. He is precious. He has red hair. My husband had red hair once upon a time. His is much like mine right now. We took him for his well child checkup yesterday, and he weighed... 14 pounds and 8 ounces, and he was 26 inches long. He's big. I'm building arm muscles. Every day, I'm building arm muscles. And she sent me some other little ones that I did not have. This prairie schooler, this peace, little angel. A Lizzie Kate, bless our home. 
I can't wait to stitch it. Y'all know I love the little ones. And this heart in hand called free. Perfect. Looking forward to stitching that. Lana from Till the Last Stitch. I, you know I adore her. I said that in my last video. I just love watching her. And if you don't watch her, you're missing out. You need. She doesn't have that many up yet. So you need to go back and start at the beginning and watch. Um, she showed in one of her last videos um, a couple of things that I just really, really loved. One was the flagged patriotic border. So she had this in a magazine. She tore it out and sent me that. Was that not the sweetest thing? And look at these work boots right here. She had stitched those. I love them. Just love them. My husband has boots like that. When he comes in from hunting, they, they look a little worse than that. But I, I'm going to love stitching that. And then... Miss Abby, Abby Bella Stitch. Y'all know I love Abby. I'm jealous of her blue hair. If I, I decided I was going to dye mine blue, but then I thought, well, if I do, everybody will think I'm just one of those little old ladies that put too much bluey on her hair. She sent me, I had, this was a, this gift was several firsts for me. She sent me this Blackbird Designs pattern. Morning Star. Now that's not a first, but she sent me the fabric to stitch it on and Carrie's Creation Floss. Carrie's Creation, first time I've ever had that. have not bought any Carrie's Creation, so I can't wait to stitch it up. And she sent me my first Ink Circles pattern. This one is called Reindeer Huddle. Love it. And she sent the fabric to stitch it on. And another first, dinky dies. I did not have any dinky dies. And she sent them to me. Ah, you know, these things feel so good. You just want to, like, make your nightgown out of them or something. Love, love, love them. So, I'll show you my whips next. Yeah, that's what I thought I'd do. One of the Christmas things I decided to start was this Prairie Schooler Santa. I just wanted to do three or four little small Christmas things before it actually got to be Christmas and I felt real pressured. This one is the 1999 and this is where I am. This fabric I tea dyed, tea and coffee dyed, using Vana's technique. I did change the color of his beard and the trim here. Uh, it called for a crew, which didn't show up on this fabric, so I just switched it over to a white. And I always feel like when I get his coat done that I'm almost done. The other, I've, I've got um, a couple of things kitted up, but the other one I started was this Little House Needleworks Gingerbread Man. And I have gotten, whoops, the needle came off, the needle minder. There it is. This far on here. Not very far, but he's not very big, so... Um, I kind of been focused on that Prairie Schooler one for the last three or four days. I don't know why, just just because I have. Uh, you've seen this bag before. Hands to work, hearts to God. I believe that's a little house pattern that I stitched some time ago. This one is Home of a Needleworker, and I've done a little bit more on it on the letters. Once I finish these Christmas 
pieces that I want to get done. I think this is probably going to be my next focus piece. I'd like to get that one finished and front. I've also worked on Halloween delivery, which is what I'm going to put in the bag that McKenna gave me. That's this pattern from Street Samplers. And this is where I'm going to work. I'm doing that with one thread over two. And I wasn't sure that I was going to like the coverage on it until I held it up right here, and I do. I was afraid it wasn't going to be enough, but I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Ah, yes. Let Freedom Ring by Lila Studio. I cannot remember if I showed this to y'all last time or not, but I have not put one stitch in it lately, so you may have already seen this. This is the upper left-hand corner, and that's how much I've gotten done on that. I'm anxious to get back to it, but y'all, you know I don't, I just have a problem with the big pieces. I like doing small ones much better, but I want the big ones. I want them in my house. And so if I want them in my house, I have to stitch them. So, and then one other, I have nine whips in all. That's all I have, y'all. Um, and that's probably more than I want to have, except it's almost, I mean, we're just a few months away from starting um, Melanie's 2018, um, oh shoot, I lost the word, whatever it is she's doing. This is early Americans. Let's see. I'm using 10 roof gingham, 28 count, and I'm using DMC threads. I stitched the freedom block there in the middle. I skipped Nathan. Nathan Hale. I've skipped him. But I'm coming back to him. And I'll get him put on here. I have the pattern. It's just that he has this house and it looks really big. And I wasn't in the mood to stitch a really big house. So I did Freedom instead. I'll, I'll do it, though. I'll get back to it. Now, here's my confession. It's not the glove box, Tara, but it's a confession. I have made a decision. This week, I decided to, that I needed to catalog my patterns because when I got that... Um, America, God shed his grace on thee, peace. I had forgotten that I had even bought that pattern. And I, I thought, well, that's really odd that I forgot that, that I had it. And then I got in an order from 123Stitch that I had placed a week ago, I guess. And it had a pattern in it. And that pattern was... Tokens of Affection, Love, 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 Pineberry Lane, and I thought, you know, I might already have that pattern, and sure enough, I did. So I thought, how many other patterns have I bought two of? Y'all know I did it once before, and gave one away. I don't remember what it was, but I did on one of my videos. So I started cataloging patterns and it took me, now I didn't work all day, any day, but I worked a couple of hours a day on it for about four days. And I still don't have my leaflets and my books typed up. I'm just making a list, no big deal. 
and I found one other pattern, first of all, that I had duplicated, and that's this one. Hot cocoa. In fact, I had just kitted it up and put it in my little bag with my gingerbread man when I ran across it in a folder. I'm lucky it was only two. But that list is several pages long. I've not counted them. I'm not going to count them. I'm too embarrassed. I think it's a sin to have that many patterns. I'm pretty sure it must be. I am in the winter of my life. Glory be. Glad to be here. But I don't have 50 more years to stitch like some of you all do. So, I am, oh, it's so hard to say, I am not going to buy any more patterns. Unless, now here's my caveat. If I sell two patterns, I can buy one. And I'm going to put some of my patterns on stash only. There are some in there, you know, my tastes have changed. Uh, or I know, I just know I'm not going to stitch them. I am going to put the, some, I'm going to start next week putting some on stash only. So I'm saving up. For every two patterns I sell, I can buy one. That's pretty okay, don't you think? Now, here's the deal. I gotta quit looking. I'm not gonna see, I have to go to like I have to go to one, two, three stitch because I'm doing early Americans and that pattern's not out yet. And then when I go and I look, I can't just buy one pattern because the the postage, you know, you can you can get more if you y'all all know the story, you all do it. You all do it. Here's what I have bought this month, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be quick. Now I'm still gonna let myself buy fabric and floss because I have to have those to stitch. I bought this Wren Lugana, and I'm going to stitch the um, Seasons Blackbird Designs Seasons on that piece. But these pieces, I don't have a clue yet what I'm going to stitch on them. But I, all of these are 28 point. This one is barn wood. So that's going to be perfect for a Halloween piece. This one is twixt and twing. It's a gray, a mottled gray with some blue. This one is called potpourri. And it's a greenish. Colors are not showing up real great on here because it's dark in here. And then... Coffee bean, and I have already stitched some on coffee bean. Something else that I did, I think, uh, I think it's Gilmore House that I did on coffee bean. Um, and Gilmore House, by the way, I've started working on. It, it's not finished. Uh, I mean, the stitching is finished. I wanted to frame it, and I had this frame from the thrift shop. It was brown. And I sent my husband to the store to get me a can of spray paint, uh, just a cream colored. I told him I didn't care, just a cream colored. Well, he came back mumbling and grumbling because he said there were 40 colors of cream. But he also came back with enamel. Enamel. I didn't say anything. I just took it out and spray painted it. And that paint just kind of rolled off of that frame. You see the dark spots? But I was so frustrated. But... You know, now, after I brought it in and let it dry real good and looked at it with this in there, I kind of like it. It makes it look kind of old. So I might just keep it. I don't know. Anyway, here are some things that I picked up. Now, all of you, some of you, are going to absolutely... I, I think I would have even broken my promise to myself 
had I made the promise about not buying patterns before I saw this, because I, I wasn't leaving that store. We were in Branson without this one. This is a jar, Jardin Privé, and it is called Sampler of My Grandma. Is that not the sweetest, sweetest, the colors? And I'm going to read this to you, and you will know why I decided I had to have it. A little lass sat in the ingle nook, with needle in hand and an earnest look, working away like the busiest bee, counting her stitches, one, two, three, sorting the colors bright and gay, as she trilled a tune in a happy way. What are you doing, dear? I said. Up flashed the pretty golden hair. As the wee maid dimpled and answered me, Why, I'm making a sampler, don't you see? And I wouldn't wonder a bit some day if a sweet little girl might feel proud to say, This was made a long, long while ago my, by my own great-grandma. Me, you know. Great grandma, it said. I don't have a girl yet, but I feel sure I will. I've got eight grandchildren. Surely one of them will have me a girl someday. Not that I love girls more than boys, but I need a girl to get this sampler, right? Yeah, isn't it stunning? And of course I bought the fabric to go with it, which was simply, um, let's see, what is this? I bought whatever it called for. I don't remember. I don't remember. Hmm. This, this. They had it stitched in the shop, and it was stunning, stunning. Okay. Happy Barrick. Rebecca is the name of that. I have no idea why she named that Rebecca, but I loved it. Scattered Seed Samplers. Humble Gatherings. Stacy Nash Primitives. This one I got off of Stash and Love. Friends Gather Here. Plum Street Samplers. A Thousand Hills. Plum Street Samplers, Sampler House 3, Plum Street Samplers, y'all like her, yeah, Paulette's good, Judge Not, oh, let's see, I have to turn that off, hey, Michelle Rudy, look at this, don't you love it, Plum Street Samplers, Hello Summer, Pineberry Lane, Oh, Tannenbaum. Moonflower Designs. Witches as Friends. I, this one was stitched up in the shop too, y'all. It says, some of my best friends are witches. <laughs> Bendy, Stitchy, Michelle. Look at this. You could change that W to a B. Just saying. And this is another one that was really adorable, stitched up. It's, the picture's not that good. I don't know the name of this designer, how to pronounce it. Is it Pinzite? It has all the charms with it, which is brew. And it says, spider legs, bat wings, cat's claw, skull bones. Brenda Gervais, Spring Frolic at Bunny Hill. Brenda Gervais, Bloom, Sylvia, you stitched this one, didn't you? Pretty one. Brenda Gervais, Summer Schoolhouse, Lesson in A.B. Siberian, heard y'all say that, I'm not good at pronouncing it, Brenda Gervais, 
Christmas at Winterberry Cabin. Brenda Gervais. Keep on the wood. Brenda Gervais. Letters for Santa. Okay. In my own defense, we went to Branson to Cecilia Sampler's. I was in there with my sister and my cousin. And you know, sisters and cousins, they just say, oh, isn't that gorgeous? You should buy that. Oh, here's one you would totally love. You need to buy this one. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I had to order Freedom, the early American ones, and so I had to buy a few colors to go along with it because of the postage. And so it just ended up being there, that stack. And so now I have like a million. And that's too many. So that's my confession for today. Last thing. I have hit 1,500 subscribers. Yay. So, is that not the most fun thing? So, you know those two patterns that I have duplicates of? I'm going to share those with somebody. I also am going to share the Halloween edition of Just Cross Stitch. It has some cute patterns in it. My sister's already stitching on one of them because she bought it too. But nothing that really just grabbed me. So... I'm going to share those, and I'll put them in one of my zipper bags for one of my subscribers. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to say anything special. You have to be a subscriber. You have to be over 18. You have to live somewhere in the world. I don't care where. And you have to leave a comment any comment. Don't mention this. Don't mention me sharing anything. You can just say, hope you have a great week, Marlene. I don't care what you say, but be nice. That'd be cute. You have to be nice. And that's a whole nother video if I want to talk about being nice, because people are not being nice in the world today, are they? But you and I are going to, so we're going to continue that like we have been. And I'm going to share this. So, if you're interested in receiving this, a zipper bag, my choice, a Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine, and two patterns, leave a comment. And I will draw when I make my next video, and I'm not quite sure when that'll be, but it'll be at least a couple of weeks because I know I'm keeping the baby three days next week. I'm probably going out of town that weekend. So it's going to be a while. Might even be three. Uh, so you've got a little while, but leave me a comment, okay? And y'all have a, an absolutely fabulous week. I love you all. Bye-bye.